Hi everyone, it's Tanya Foster and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to create this DIY ring light. So a ring light is very useful when you're creating a video and you're trying to get some more light on you to make your video quality for your lighting better. The reason I decided to do this as a DIY project was because of a fellow YouTuber, Bria Christia, who showed me how to do this for under $40. So I decided that I would give it a try and it worked. There were some challenges with it, but you will see how it worked. So let's get started on this video and you will get to see how I got this out of five products. For this project, I used the following items. The first item that I used was aluminum foil that I bought from Walmart for $3.98. The second item that I'll be showing you that we used was some clear zip ties. This is a pack of 100 zip ties that you can find at Walmart for $4.98. The third item that I used was a toilet paper holder. Now, I got this from the dollar store for $2. However, you can also use like a paper towel holder or something of that sort. The fourth item that I got was this wire rack holder. This is a wreath holder that I got from Michaels for $8.99. And the final item that you'll need is you'll need some string lights. So this is some string lights that I bought from Walmart for $28.90. And this is 19 feet of just regular string lights that you can use. Altogether, these Five items will be utilized in today's project. For the first step of this project, what I'm doing is I'm taking the metal wreath and I'm taking the aluminum foil and basically in small sections just wrapping the aluminum foil around the wreath. For this, you want to make sure that each part of the wreath is covered in the aluminum foil. However, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be wrapped around it in order to give the light something to reflect off of. So now that you have the wreath wrapped in aluminum foil, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your string lights, unravel them, and look for the either end of the string light. So the one end is going to have the cord, which is what you're going to have to plug into the wall. You're going to want to leave that side alone. And then the other side, which is the beginning of the string light, is just going to have a little end on it. With the little end, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place that underneath the wreath just to keep it in place and you're going to want to use that as your starting point for wrapping the lights around the wreath. How you're going to wrap the lights around the wreath is you're going to start from the outer corner of the wreath and wrap it inside the wreath. Now as you can see every once in a while I've just been using my zip ties just to secure the light into place so you're going to have to do this every once in a while and it doesn't really matter how many zip ties you use, it just matters that you have it securely in place. So as you can see, I have now have two rows of lights put onto my wreath. I'm just going to finish up by continuing with the same pattern as I was doing before, basically just lining the lights up, putting some zip ties around to keep them in place, and I'm going to finish up with the third row of string light right when I get to the area where it's where we first started.
we did have a little bit of difficulty getting the stand to to hold the ring up. I think this was probably because the ring that we got was a little bit too big. There was 12 inch rings, but I decided to go with the size bigger and I probably shouldn't have. However, what I did to just combat this was I basically took the stand and just kind of attached it from the bottom and the top. Now that I've created the light, now I want to show you how it works. So I'm going to take my light and I'm going to plug it in and we can see what kind of performance this has. This is pretty cool. I'm just going to move the camera away. So as you can see, it's giving off some good light. I'm going to actually turn off the, um, the lights. Ooh, haha. I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to put That's pretty cool. So now I'm like doing my regular tutorial. Now if I turn the light on this gives me a little bit of extra light ing from in the back. Now I feel like the one thing that I'll have to add to this to get it even better is I'll have to probably get an extension cord so that I can like travel around with it. But overall I'm quite impressed with the fact that I got this and how easy it was for me to create. Um, yeah, basically it was pretty simple. If I stand right here, I think the performance is better when it's straight at me. Yeah, I think it's better when it's like just straight at me. You can kind of see the lighting in the background a little bit better. Maybe if we were... Doing it like that gives us a little bit more lighting. Turning off the light, you can see the cast in the background, which is really cool. So I'm definitely really happy with this light. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment. Give me some suggestions on future video topics that you'd like me to do. Anyways, until next time, talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>